Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So, obviously a little bit of a different background right now and also it's really late at night right now. It's half past 10. This is not my phone. This is, whose phone is this? Mine. Zoe's phone. Um, it's half past 10 at night. We've just been for a nice Italian meal. We're currently in Catterick. So Catterick, where is Catterick Which in the UK? North Yorkshire. Catterick. North Yorkshire in Catterick. <laughs> and basically we are in Catterick with Zoe and her boyfriend. Me and Tommy have come up because we're going camping tomorrow. And I did put it on my story and so many of you guys have asked me to vlog this weekend. So it'd be rude of me not to. Obviously Zoe is in the army and I get a lot of questions about it. Everyone's like, oh your sister's in the army. Like they're so surprised. And I know it is, it's quite like a different thing like to have a sister that's in the army. And a lot of people always ask Zoe, what do you do in the army? So, would you like to come sit, come sit down, Zoe? No. Please. No. Please, Zoe. Please. Here she is. <laughs> You're really pretty. Oh, thanks. Um, so what do you do in the army? Oh, so much. I'm such a busy, busy girl. No, but I used to say that you were a medic, but you're not a medic yeah, anymore. Yeah, I'm a medic. I don't really do much medicine because there's not much medicine to do. Right, so you're a PTI? Yeah, I'm a PTI. I work in the gym. Um, I so she's basically like a personal PTI. trainer, but within the army. Is that right? Yeah. So you're a medic and a PTI? Yeah. Yeah, we need a fan in here. No, Where's the Dyson fan when you need it? I was hinting at you to buy me one in Tesco's. Yeah. I didn't get the hint. I would have bought you one. I didn't even see any fans in there. Oh, Oh, sorry. Um, also, this is the state of my... Come in the video. <laughs> I'm going to do a tour of the bedroom. Oh no, it's so messy. Let me tidy it first. It's lovely, Zoe. These are the boots that Tommy selected at Go Outdoors today. We spent a hefty amount. Wow. These are the ones I bought. They were £200. <gasps> Yeah, that's I that right, I guess. Boots were it's because so they're Gore-Tex, they're waterproof. They're really nice, they're super comfy. I did trial out a few pairs. Um, what oh, do you think, nice. army girl? I might um, Do they get the army girl seal of approval? Well. Are you joking me? They're mine. We're never going to wear them again. What if, I, what if I become an avid camper after not. this? I know you're not. Danny, say hi to the vlog. Hello. Say hi vlog. Hi vlog. Oh, you didn't get one with a hood. Are you joking? It's that's okay, fine. it doesn't matter. You didn't tell me to get one with a hood. It doesn't matter. How much was this? It was like 200 quid. No, it wasn't. Honestly, I'm going on a, it wasn't £200. Right. Mine for, was only £200. It's for the good. cost that I've spent on camping gear, well, actually, Tommy treated us to it. For the cost that we spent in Go Outdoors today, we could have gone to Dubai on an all inclusive holiday for two weeks. I could be in Mauritius right now for the, pre for the price of this walking weekend. I heard it. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy, man, it's 15 kilograms. It's more than that. No, it's it not. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's going to go around after all the food he's eaten the last two weeks. I need to suck it. Are you getting anything? Nothing. <laughs> Close it. <laughs> right, there we there go. We go. Just before we head to bed for a very exciting and busy day tomorrow, I did actually bring a really exciting package up with me to the army camp. I received this really exciting parcel from Gymshark, and with Zoe being so into health and fitness and gymming and stuff as well, I thought we could open it together and see what we got. It's actually in collaboration with Whitney Simmons. I'm really excited to try some of these on. I think we're actually gonna try them on tomorrow morning. What do you think? Yeah, before we go out. Before we go on our walk, when we wake up in the morning, we'll have some brekkie and then go through our favorite pieces and try on some bits. So, Garrison, we'll get Richard's show. Night, guys! Night, guys! Night. Garrison! Oh. <laughs> Good morning, everybody! Morning! It's a beautiful, bright, sunny day. We're in great spirits. I'm actually really excited. I've got the Apple Watch on. I did actually mention on my Instagram story recently that I kind of stopped wearing my Apple Watch and everyone was like, oh, you know, like, why did you stop wearing your Apple Watch? I like, think it was a big deal, but it was genuinely just because it was putting like extra pressure on me to exercise. And I'd be sat on the sofa, like having a lazy day, looking at my Apple Watch thinking, oh God, I really need to like get up and do something. But I just couldn't really be asked for that added pressure. So I just decided to stop wearing it for a while. But for things like this, I do think it's interesting to see like obviously how many steps we're gonna do, how many miles we're gonna walk. We are greeting you this morning in our Gymshark sets, which by the way, is absolutely stunning. Yours is really cute. She's got the shorts sets on. I love the detail on the sports bra. It's got this really nice little like twisty section and it's really supportive and really comfy and the color, really really cute i've not actually got any gym sets in this really beautiful like pastel yellow color but also i feel like this detailing on the bum when it like comes down into a v it always makes you look a bit peachier you know also the brown set comes with you can wear it with shorts or wear it with leggings i personally always opt for 
leggings just because I have a complex about my knees. Because I'm the opposite. I'd always rather have shorts and have my top half covered. So Ooh. I'd rather be in like a t-shirt yeah. and shorts. Yeah, but you got blessed with the legs and... You got blessed with the upper body and the waist. Yeah. And I got blessed with the legs. Yeah, Zoe doesn't own a waist. I have no waist. The waist straight was straight up and down. The waist was oh, not delivered to her at birth. It no. was not. Yes. Wow, look at that figure. So cute. And your tan looks incredible. Feel to my Molly May. Feel to my Molly May. Um, but yeah, I might put this t-shirt on now. Could you just try this on? Quite matchy matchy. Yeah. They go quite well together, don't they? Do you guys think that me and Zoe look alike? Because I some people know. say that we're like, come up closer, Zoe. I do think we look quite alike, no, actually. No, don't. I think we do a bit. No, I can't see Sometimes I see, look at us, I'm like, God, we're literally the twins. The only time I could see it was the wedding picture. At, oh my God, at the wedding, everyone was like, you're literally twins. I was like, because we're wearing the same dress, we have the same makeup, and we have the same exact hairstyle and the same hair colour. So yeah, yeah. we are going to look similar. I've just popped the grey set on. This is the same set that Zoe had on, but in grey. And I absolutely love this. It's a, like a really nice charcoal grey. Um, which I think is really nice. The top has padding in it. So personally, I probably wouldn't wear a sports bra with this underneath just because my boobs aren't that big. So I don't need like loads of support. But yeah, it's got a nice amount of support and it makes I kind of had a little boob job moment. It's cute. So oh, I've got on, like a cute jogger, that cute um, jogger co ward set. Yeah, the little cute, 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 cute. <laughs> so cute, so cute. <laughs> so I'm not cute. used to being in front of the camera. <laughs> no, it's really cute. And she's she just so gifted in the flat stomach region. Basically, with Zoe's stomach, she bloats, whereas when I like eat a lot of food, I actually just like get pouchy. Like, but Zoe has abs, and then um, when she eats a lot of food, the abs just go. Outwards. <laughs> Whereas me, I never have abs, it's and a bit they like just me, you know? they just roll. Yeah. When he does that pop belly thing. Yeah. I probably wear it more like low. I wear this like yeah. low waisted. I don't know. I think like is it low rise? Yeah, low rise. I was quite in at the moment, like a low Ooh, waist. Oh, sorry about you, low rise. <laughs> <in at the laughs> moment. Zoe said that she probably wouldn't be allowed to wear a crop top at work. Why is that? just not really appropriate you know you're sort of in the gym with do you know what I find like your bosses you work you train with your bosses it's just a bit do you know what I find really hard though is that in the army you have to like be okay with getting told off and stuff and like I feel like my days of getting told off were at school and if anyone tries to tell me off now I'm like sorry oh I sometimes just cry oh <laughs> she's happy me I know we've got the blue I've got the blue set on and Zoe's got the um black set on I pretty much only ever wear black to the gym anyway black is a good go-to so I would definitely wear this but I'd probably wear like a t-shirt as well oh this t-shirt's cute this is like a really nice lightweight material do you actually wear this today then this is definitely an option yeah that tucked into your um into my leggings. Well, I think I might have my walking outfit. Do you think a black rock set will go with baby blue though? Oh, okay, Charlotte Molly. So those are the outfits from the Whitney Simmons Extra Shark collection. I'm literally obsessed with it. I'll obviously link everything down below. Thank you, Zoe, for doing a little try on haul with me. Right. I, do you know what people are going to say? They're going to be like, Zoe, Molly bully Zoe. Like, <laughs> you look so sad. I was thinking about breakfast, to be honest, because I'm hungry. <laughs> Guys, I, I'm not horrible to Zoe. Time, she's but... just sat, sitting down there like this. Like, I've been talking nah, to her to come listen, in. This is her job. Yeah, yeah, I'm, true. I'm all awkward. Imagine if I got you in work, you'd be like, yeah, but I'm doing a bit of your work today, really. It's like, oh, so excited. we're swapping jobs. So we are in the lovely town of Richmond, near Catterick. I don't really know where we are, as I was said, we're in a town called Richmond. It's so cute, it's really reminding me of Bath. It's like a little cobbled streets. It's so lovely. Uh, but we're just gonna grab some breakfast now. Um, we actually had a little bit of a malfunction what? with the Camelbacks. So Camelbacks is what goes in the rucksack with like water in it. They started to leak. So we had to go um, to a walking shop and get some more of those but that's all sorted now and we're both starving so we're going to get some food and i'll show you what we have for breakfast i'm thinking porridge no i want porridge porridge yeah oh, God. and you'll get a full english two full Englishes. <laughs> tommy fist bump cheers that's crushed her i got brown toast scrambled egg and baked beans so we got poached um, eggs, poached toast, baked beans, and I think avocado as well. And the boys got full Englishes, but they're not here yet. Here he comes, full of breakfast in his police officer hiking boots. <laughs> I really should have vlogged yesterday at Go Outdoors when he was buying these because it was actually hilarious. Just talking about the boots. Yeah, the boots are hilarious. I literally had about six slices of toast, and my belly's very full, all carved up, ready to walk. Go team dynamite. We have arrived at where are we going? Great Gable. We're at, Honest, at Honest's Pass. We're at Honest's Pass. Wow, look at that beast. That's not what we're climbing. What are we climbing, so? 
right now. I think over there somewhere. Great Gilbert. Straight up there. <laughs> Great Gable. Up there somewhere. This is what I look like right now. <laughs> We all told her to start, but what is it? Be bold, start cold. Be bold, start cold. Yeah, but I'm not being funny. It's, it's not even freezing. That cold. And as soon as we step off, you'll be absolutely sweating. But yeah, we're it, not, we're it's, not guys, here. it's really cold. I know, but it's really cold. So I'm just gonna. It's keep... not cold. It's it not is. Cold. And I've got some walking glasses. These are my sinners. My sinners. My walking glasses. Tommy, show everyone your walking glasses. Look at us with our walking. I'm oh, sorry. All the gear. Absolutely no idea. Um, <laughs> But we're ready to go. I need a quick wee. That's my rucksack, ready to go. Zoe. Oh wow, the views are lovely, Zoe. Yeah, Stunning. Lovely. Okay, I've got my gym shot leggings on, if anyone was wondering. Got my baby blue ones on. My walking boots. We're ready yeah. to go. Hi babe. Okay guys, I'm not gonna vlog too much whilst we're walking up, but I'll vlog a little bit and then when we get to the top and set up our tents and stuff, I'll show you what we do. But yeah, I'm excited. This is fun. Yeah, <laughs> right gang so we have walked up the first section let me just say i was sold a dream i was sold a dream i thought we were going to be on footpaths and i cannot explain how hard that just was and we've literally done walked for how long how long was my apple watch say 25 minutes but you're doing good oh look at the views though. lots of moaning coming from their end but should we do a thumbnail Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so these are the views and it's lovely, but it's really, 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 really hard. I had to take my fleece off. The mid layer was... I did tell you. You did tell me and the hat came off and the buff, everything. Everything's come off. So um, yeah, the Gymshark outfit's been put to good use. Tommy, how are you feeling, babe? I think Tommy's yeah, struggling. Instant regret. <laughs> instant regret. <laughs> I'm honestly thinking about my life right now. Yes. Please don't tell me you're lying. It's, no, honestly, it's... This will be the hardest bit. Look how much ground you've covered already. In yeah, that short so basically, um, we'll be about 715 metres high, and we're currently at 650. So we've got 100 more metres of climbing and elevation. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, yeah, I told you. Oh, so we've done 650 metres, that? Yeah. And we're dropping from <laughs> seven. Absolutely breathtaking and stunning. And for a while, we could see. Yeah, it's breathtaking, all right. <laughs> for a while, we could see the car, and I was like, God, the car is still in sight. And I felt like we were walking for ages, but now we can't see the car anymore. So. I can't see nothing no more. No, just a few sheep. Right, let's go. Ready? All right, bye guys, see you in a bit. We have made it two and a half hours later, which doesn't seem like a lot of time, but it was actually like the most challenging two and a half hours. Oh, what do you want to say? Two and a half hours? We set up at two o'clock, it's now six o'clock. It's been four hours. Oh, has it? My, yeah. Apple, my Apple Watch is literally miles off it. Weird. Anyway, okay, so it's been four hours and Tommy? Mm. Did anybody come up the mountain with us? Yes. Anyway, we've set up camp. I'll go outside in a minute and show you our tent situation. Um, I'm so impressed with the tent. I was also going to do a time lapse of us setting up the tent. I mean, of Zoe and Danny setting up the tent. And it happened that fast. It was erected so quickly that I had no time. <laughs> erected? Uh, yes. I had no time to film the erection because it was. <laughs> it just went up so fast. And, but this is the tent. Obviously, Zoe and Danny have their own tent. But um, ours is pretty, I'm pretty happy with the size of it. And we're in our sleeping bags already. I mean, it's only like six o'clock. Um, we're going to make some dinner. We've got absolutely no phone signal whatsoever. Like literally, well, Tommy does, but it doesn't really work. No we bars. We have signal in the social hub. Yeah, this it's is, the so this is what we call anyway. the social hub. And I mean, this hat, I know it makes me look like a sperm. And I'm sorry, it's been on literally the whole video. But when you're doing things like this, you just don't care what you look like. You just want to be warm and comfy. So these are the breathtaking views from where we've set up camp. It's literally unbelievable and I'm just going to show you it now before it starts raining because I feel like it might start raining. Oh well, no, it's definitely going to start raining. Look at that cloud. Oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, this is just literally so worth the walk up. And I know it doesn't sound like we did a lot, but it was one of the most challenging things I've ever done. It really was so hard. Um, but yeah, it's literally unbelievable. So that's a little tent there that we have um, for our stuff, like the rucksacks, just to keep things dry in case it does start raining. I know it hasn't really got a front to it. So personally, I don't see how it's going to stay dry, but I'm not getting involved with that. <laughs> um, and then here we have our tent. We're calling this the social hub because it's got the social area. Five pound entry. So, so yeah, cool. five pound entry. In fact, you guys haven't actually paid for that. No, we, get, um, we put the tent up. Oh, right. Yeah. So you don't have to pay entry. Um, if anyone was wondering, we got the Co Coyote. No one's probably wondering what tent we got. No, but... there might be more. I don't know what brand it is. Coyote OEX. Well, that's the tent. It was. It's actually three really man. good. I, I think it's, it's, yes, a three-man tent, but I mean, I'd recommend it for two people. And then over there is Zoe and Danny's tent, which is literally, it's the same brand, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's just a two-man. Yeah, but it's, um, it's really small. 
so we're just, like keeping um, all the food and stuff in ours but yeah this is the views and i'm just really proud of us for all getting up here and um smashing the walk literally kind of even coming on my youtube looking like this you guys have seen me in some serious states but this is topping them all this is really topping them all but walk right now is key so these are some of the snacks that we have obviously i bought marshmallows we're not doing a fire because is that illegal not to camping, oh with wild camping you can't light fires so i just want marshmallows anyway because they're my favorite snack tommy bought some malted milk it's a bit random and here we've got our pizza from lunch just left over once yeah the domino's which was an incredible shout and then these packets of pasta here we just shoved in our rucksacks and we're going to cook them on the little stove um which danny just demonstrated for us and it's really impressive and then we also bought some custard to have with some chocolate cake and i don't really want to talk about this no honestly it's great <laughs> i cannot believe that i know people want to eat this basically it knocks me morning, sick we'll have eggs and oh, this fried you won't be putting that anywhere near me no it's molly it's nicer than bacon i promise you guys Slowly. don't mean don't mean to alarm anyone <laughs> but we have a friend <laughs> oh my god so zoe zoe he's inside the tent <laughs> he's literally inside the tent hello I know what it is, you can smell the dominoes. Oh, he's stamping. Tell him we got here first. Excuse me. Excuse me, this is, a, this is our, our um, hub. <laughs> this is our social hub. This is mad, why is he here? Tommy's fast asleep. We're social hubbing. This is our incense stick to keep away the mosquitoes. It smells lovely actually. And um, yeah, the view just gets better and better. <gasps> Guys, it's moving, it's on the move. <laughs> the sheep is on the move. Hello. Dinner is cooked. Well, Zoe and I are having our pasta first. We've got it's like a ravioli type pasta with beef inside it. We put some pesto with it. Tommy's alive and awake. You can't quite see. He's just oh, you can see. Hey yo, hey yo. Um, the hub. Yeah, sorry, the hub is popping off. <laughs> so we've had to go in there. Oh, is that rain? No right? rain. Sorry, okay. sorry. We really want rain. We really want rain to make it cozy. Yeah, we're having a little cooking sesh. And dinner's actually really, really nice. We're going to dig into this now. Good morning, campers. It is 900 hours and we are up and fresh and ready to seize the day. <laughs> What's with the American accent? Because I just feel like we're camping and all. So I feel like in a forest gum mood right now. <laughs> anyway, guys, good morning. It is currently half past nine and we are up. We are semi-cleaned. Actually, no, I lie. I've brushed my teeth. Um, and that is about as far as washing goes this morning. We um, all heard footsteps walking around the tents last night. We all individually heard it, but no one said anything to each other when it was happening because we were all like, we didn't want to scare each other. But I was telling myself that I was imagining it. I was like, no, 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 I'm imagining like hearing footsteps. It's not because I, I knew I was going to end up scaring myself last night. Anyway, um, this morning Tommy was like, did anyone else hear footsteps? And I was like, yes. And then Danny and Zoe were like, yes. So who those footsteps were i don't know i'm praying it was a sheep um but i'm a little bit scared because it was like so clear it was like proper footsteps outside the tent but then um, it has to have been a sheep that's what i'm telling myself also this is i pulled another one off last night because they're just literally i don't know what's up on my nails this time they're literally just all falling off and a bacon but this was nice so this is my sister zoe ellen hey <laughs> opening a tin of spam i never right, thought i would off. but it's unreal take this off love it's unreal when you've not really got a lot else to eat. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> so here's my brekkie. I've got fuel porridge. This is what I normally have at home sometimes if I'm not having a protein shake. I like this brand. It's really good for protein. It's got a good amount of protein in there. And Danny and Zoe are just cooking up the spam. <laughs> <laughs> Having an intimate moment with Eggie Ellie Belly. We've like emptied out the sleeping area now, so we need to put the tent down after we've had breakfast and then we'll be on our way. I feel really good and happy. Oh, um, start cold, think bold. Oh, leave no trace behind. So like we didn't have any fires last night, campfires or anything. Obviously if you saw us cooking a food, we just had it on like a gas stove. But, like when you go wild camping, you're meant to leave where you've camped completely like untouched. So like no litter, apart from Zoe's poo. But we won't count that as litter. <laughs> Luckily I didn't have to do a number two in the wild. 
Um, I think the Domino's pizza's compacted me a little bit. <laughs> so, it was just a couple of wees. Um, what do we all think about the footsteps last night? Because I was telling the vlog about that earlier. I don't get scared, but that was, it was quite scary. Guys, we've made it! We're back to the car park. I never thought I'd see this day. I am literally so happy right now, I could cry. I feel like we've literally achieved so much. I'm literally buzzing. The walk back, quite tricky. Quite, quite, quite tricky considering I thought the whole thing was gonna be downhill. Not the case and I'm gonna start crying. Oh my goodness, you really got us there. You really got us. <laughs> that man just said that they'd shut the cafe and we were literally so buzzing about the cafe the whole way down. <laughs> Tommy's shadow boxing pretending to punch the man. Yeah, he said that the cafe had shut and they had no sandwiches left and the restaurant had shut, but he was like joking because he obviously knew that we'd just come all the way down. I'm aching, I'm itching. I smell, but we did it. I'm so happy. Um, so yeah, down to the car park now. Sorry, I didn't vlog much coming down, but it's just, I have to really concentrate because a lot of it is like, well, to, not too fair, now we've got a path, but most of the time it's just like rubble and you have to really watch your footing. Hands in the middle, guys. Three, two, one, Garrison. Oh, Garrison. Three, two, one. Don't, Don't stop, stop, won't stop, stop. Back, back in. in. Back in, back in. <laughs> <laughs> no one's gonna understand those, but it's just a personal joke. Guys, just so you can see, this is where we set off from yesterday. And I know it doesn't look that steep, but let me tell you, all the way to the top of that ridge, and that's also a false summit. So it doesn't actually mean that you, I know all the lingo now, doesn't actually mean that you've got to the top, it just means that you've reached like the top of that section before the next section starts. But um, that was just the start of our walk yesterday. And my thighs, well, they were gone. Yeah, yeah. Yummy. Cheers, Zoe. Cheers, Mom. Oh, me and Tommy both got the same. Oh, we got the same. Oh, the kids, the adults. So, we made it back from camping alive. It's actually been quite a few days now since camping. As per usual, I've had such, oh my God, literally such a busy few days. I literally feel like I have not even had a chance to breathe. My foundation is not matching my neck today. We're not going to talk about that. I got ready in about 30 seconds. I'm on a filter by Molly May shoot today. And I've been on a Beauty Works shoot for the last two days and camping was the day before that. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, today's Thursday. I've, li I've literally not stopped. Like I have not stopped. So that's me. Um, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed camping. Like I literally cannot wait to do it again. It was so, so much fun. Like it was really, really nice to do something really different. But I think it's nice to see like a bit of like a different side to my life. Like I grew up literally doing things like this vlog, like camping. Um, and you know, those were like my holidays. Like we used to go to the Isle of Man instead of whilst all my friends were going to Florida, I'd be in the Isle of Man <laughs> walking up mountains and things. So yeah, anyway guys, I'm gonna bring this vlog to a close. Um, um, I really really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you want to see me do another camping vlog or what you want to see in my next video Yeah, hopefully I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys